if you're looking for that cooler air. Mount Charleston is your spot with those temperatures in the early morning, starting in the 50s and 60s and landing in the upper 70s. Now, Lake Mead, another hot day there, 106 degrees under lots of sunshine. Red Rock kind of right in the middle, 98 degrees. You'll definitely want to plan for those early morning hikes if you're headed to Red Rock. So if you are getting outside, be aware the air quality is moderate today as those lighter winds settle. We're allowing some of that ozone to kind of build back up. UV index is high today. You'll want to bring the sunscreen with you. Pollen forecast has increased or improved just slightly. Medium levels of pollen rather than medium to high levels of pollen. Temps right now as you're starting out your morning in the upper 80s for Henderson, upper 70s for Boulder City, 81 in Las Vegas and Pahrump, a nice cool 65 degrees. Here's a live look outside. Those wind speeds are still right around 13 miles per hour near Henderson, 7 for Boulder City, and we've seen gusts right around 6 miles per hour for Mount Charleston. But Really, wind speeds are not going to be as much of a nuisance today. We still could see a gust or two up to 20 miles per hour, but red flag warning has now expired. Temperatures, though, are still right around 102 degrees for Las Vegas, 110 for Laughlin, up to 103 for spots like Mesquite. And over the next 13 hours, we'll jump up to the low 90s by 10 a.m. and triple digits expected through the afternoon. We're still in the upper 90s through about 7 p.m. Lows tonight falling into the mid 70s and then those wind speeds, as I mentioned, pick back up as you get into our Wednesday evening. We'll see those gusts closer to 25, 30 miles per hour as daytime highs land at 101 degrees. As we get into the work week or the rest of the second half of the week anyway, uh, we are going to see some more mild conditions moving back in 97 by Saturday, 95 by Saturday. Thursday. And the good news is, is that we're going to continue here with sunny spells through the rest of the week. So tomorrow, Friday, still a nice sunny one, but it's also going to be a hotter one. Right now, though, there's our storm system. It's off towards the east. Lots of clouds, parts of New England, rain out towards Boston. Back here at home, those clouds have dissipated. Winds are out of the north today, and that's what's keeping humidity down. That's what's also keeping these temperatures below seasonal norms. Take a look at your dew points in the 50s. And it's the first week of August. This is unusual. We're supposed to see these dew points closer to the 60s, putting us in that muggy category. Not the case today. A lot of us are seeing those dew points right near perfect, not too muggy, and also not overly dry. Center City, beautiful shot right here. We're tracking a little bit of cloud cover, but you can make out the blue skies, and for that, we're thankful. If you're heading down the shore, if you're spending time there right now, just keep in mind you do want to swim near a lifeguard, as we do have a high rip current risk for the rest of the day. That includes all of our Jersey Shore points extending down into our Delaware beaches as well. Waves, by the way, up to three feet in some spots. I bet surfers and anyone hitting the beach in the waves will like that. By tonight, it's going to be a nice one if you are planning to head outdoors, whether you're having dinner this evening outside or maybe you're just walking outside just for a nice relaxed stroll. It's going to be nice out there with temperatures in the upper 60s. Here in Philadelphia, if you're down the shore, a low of 69 degrees is expected. Lehigh Valley, beautiful night expected there with temperatures taking a tumble to near 60. Just fantastic sleeping weather altogether. So a really nice night followed by a nice morning on Friday. I want to talk about future dew points a little bit more because we're gradually increasing as the week goes on and really as we enter the weekend. Notice tomorrow we're in the mid 50s. Still not bad, but it is going to be hotter. So it'll probably feel you'll feel it a little more just because that afternoon temperature is going to be a bit higher right around 90 by Saturday and Sunday. We're inching closer to 60 on Monday. We're there and then look at what happens Tuesday, Wednesday. That is an upper 60 for Tuesday. In fact, temperatures are supposed to peak both Tuesday and Wednesday. And because of how high that humidity is going to skyrocket, I wouldn't be surprised if we do have some type of heat advisory that goes into effect starting really on Monday. But this is the next seven days. Today is nice. Tomorrow is hot. Saturday, we have a chance for an isolated thunderstorm.